They say that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. I don't remember who said that, but I'm pretty sure it was a scientist. Pretty sure it was this guy. Pretty sure I beat him. But despite his crushing defeat at my hands from which he will never recover, I don't disagree with him. Every action does have an equal and opposite reaction. My last video was five things that I liked about Pokemon. So this video will be five things that I don't like about Pokemon. DISCLAIMER! Now, this isn't so much five things I don't like about Pokemon as five things that I don't like because of their relationship to Pokemon. But that name's just really, really long and I don't like it. I like almost everything about Pokemon. It's just that five things that are related to Pokemon kinda suck. I'm Trainer Nick, and this is my Crobat X-Wing, and we're going to examine five things I don't like about Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon suck. No, not really. Although, a lot of them do. A bit of clarification. Yes, last time I said that shiny Pokemon were one of my favorite things about Pokemon. And, in concept, they are. In some of the designs, they are. But then you get these things. And it's like... Why? They're so bland. I mean, look at Garchomp. And now look at its shiny form. Or was this the original Garchomp, and the other one the shiny form? You know what? I can't tell. They're almost exactly the same. And it's the same with things like Gengar, and Frostlass, and Scyther. Game Freak, come on, you're changing their colors. Why are you keeping them the same? You've got this amazing gameplay element, and you just waste it. <laughs> Stands. You went to such good efforts with some of these Pokemon to make their shiny forms really cool. Why do this? I just... I, I don't understand. Huh. People play the TCG. A lot. They should hold world tournaments for that. Oh, they do. What's that? They take the top four decks every year and they reprint them and sell them to the general public? I'm interested. What's that? They cost 20 bucks a pop and you can't actually use the cards in a real game? What a dick move. That's right, Nintendo actually does this. They take the top four decks every year, reprint them, and sell them to the general public. Really accessible, really good cards. And then they write down the bottom of the card, you cannot use this card in a real game. What a dick move! I don't even have very much else to say on this because it just should be really obvious why this is such a dick move. You are selling this product to children? These poor kids! Might be all they get in their stocking this Christmas and they are not allowed to use it in a real game. Fuck you, Nintendo. Do you know how many Pokemon there are? It's a lot. And it's about to get bigger. But despite this huge number of Pokemon available, who's the mascot of the franchise? This guy. I hate this guy. Don't get me wrong, it's just this guy. I hate Pikachu a lot. I don't hate Pichu. I don't hate Raichu, in fact I quite like Raichu, he's a pretty cool glass cannon throwing thunderbolts all over the place. But Pikachu is the series mascot. I just hate the fact that I can't go anywhere Pokemon related without seeing his ugly yellow face stamped right across the thing. It makes me really upset and annoyed, it's like, stop it, there are other Pokemon, cooler Pokemon, just, why does he take his Pikachu everywhere? Why is this the mascot? And because this stupid little yellow mouse is the mascot of the Pokemon franchise, it means that every single generation we have to put up with a brand new Pika clone. Why do we have to put up with a brand new Pika clone? They're all the same. Although this one sort of looks like Raichu more than Pikachu and they are kind of cute. But still, I hate them. What's especially upsetting is Pikachu used to be a rare Pokemon. It used to be exciting. You found it in Viridian Forest and, and you could run through the whole game with it. It'd tank things and then evolve into Raichu and tank things even better. That was awesome.
But seriously, guys, Pikachu, just let it die. I really don't like this guy. But Trainer Nick, why don't you like this guy? I mean, what's he ever done to you? Well, the thing is, Yuri Gello thinks that he's a Kadabra. And normally this wouldn't be a bad thing, he'd just be one of those funny jokes that we laugh off. But because Yuri Gello thinks that he's a Kadabra, he tried to sue Nintendo over the use of his likeness in the Pokemon Kadabra. Which means that people like me who play the TCG never get to have a Kadabra again because Nintendo is scared of losing a lawsuit to him. No, seriously, this is a real thing. This guy thinks he's a Kadabra, and now we can't have Kadabra cards, which means we can't have Abra or Alakazam either, which is really annoying because Alakazam is one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, and Kadabra is one of those really cool second form Pokemon that isn't incredibly awkward compared to the rest of its line. I mean, sure, it has that tail that's about twice the size of the rest of its body, but other than that, Kadabra's a cool dude. This guy isn't a cool dude. This is Uri Gello. He thinks he's a Kadabra. And for the full controversy, there's a link down there. The number one thing related to Pokemon that annoys me most, we're gonna need a little bit of roleplay. So I'm going to play a parent, an X-Wing is going to play a newborn child. Here we go. Ew! This child is not Generation 1. I cannot possibly love it. Get rid of it. Off it goes. Role play over. Sorry for that, X-Wing. Seriously, people don't like these Pokemon because they're not from the first generation? Right, because we all know that the first generation was a magical place full of competitive balance and excellent designs. It was so awesome. Those sprites, man, yeah. I seriously don't understand Gen 1ers at all. Are you even real Pokemon fans? I don't think you can be. I think in order to be a real Pokemon fan, you have to accept that there's more out there than, than just Gen 1. I mean, it came out a very long time ago. Sure, it introduced us to the world of Pokemon, and for that I'll be forever grateful, but every installment has improved upon the last in vast in many ways. And I hope the Gen 1ers out there realize complaints list is just so dumb. Oh, the design's bad, this design's bad, the rest of the generation's bad, alright god, bad decisions. It's expanding to too many legendaries, this is I keep changing what was set down originally. You do realize that the reason that they keep calling back to the first generation is for people like you. It's because you won't let go of the first generation that the rest of us can't enjoy anything new and exciting. It's a marketing ploy. They go, hey, the first generation is really popular. Let's call back to that so that we can call in the people who like that generation. Stop inflicting it on the rest of us. That's all I've got. I don't like you very much. You are my number one pet peeve about Pokemon. So there you have it. Five things I don't like about Pokemon. If you disagree with me at all, or you think there are other things related to Pokemon that deserve to be higher on this list, leave me a comment. If you want more videos, subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's going to be some more Let's Plays with me and Gunnanape later on. Ciao!